For the Holiday Baking Championship, we asked the bakers to celebrate the season and bake a dessert with a fall harvest ingredient. So here's what I would do for a fall harvest dessert using, wait for it, wait for it, butternut squash. I'm gonna take this squash, I'm gonna turn it into a diplomat cream, and then I'm gonna make little meringue gift boxes, fill the boxes with the cream, I and mean, it's gonna be awesome. Now the meringue takes a long time, so let's start with that. We'll start out whipping this on relatively slow speed, just until I start getting some bubbles. In every meringue, you wanna do a tiny pinch of salt. Next, your cream of tartar. Okay, now you see the eggs are starting to get nice and fluffy. So, start adding this sugar a little bit at a time. It's gonna get really frothy, and then you're gonna stop when you have stiff peaks and it's really shiny. You know, meringues are awesome. They're super light in your mouth and they're not super rich, but then when you dry them out, you can build stuff with them. That's pretty stiff. That's not even a sparrow. That's like a finch. Wow. Oh. So this meringue is ready to go. So I cut out a stencil, just a piece of cardboard, just like that. Put a little handle on there so it's easy to use. I have a silicone mat. I'm gonna spread the meringue onto. Put some meringue on there. And just gently spread, just to the edges. And there you go. Do that a few more times. Five more times to be exact. I'm gonna have six sides and we'll be able to do a whole box. Okay, so there's my six. I'm gonna make a few extra. Okay, I think that should be enough. So now, I'm gonna put it back onto the sheet tray and put it into the oven for three hours at 150 degrees. Let's make some Diplomat cream. Diplomat cream is a pastry cream with whipped cream folded into it. It's kind of like a mousse. So I took a butternut squash, I peeled it, and then I roasted it, and I put it in a food processor, and now I have cooked butternut squash puree. You can totally buy this stuff if you don't want to deal with a butternut squash. But they're really fun, and they're cute. <laughs> okay, so taking the butternut squash puree, I'm gonna add this to the eggs. I'm gonna whisk all this good stuff together. I wanna make sure you don't have any lumps of cornstarch. Oh, that smells like fall. Mm. Okay. Just about to boil. Okay, hot milk, cold eggs. Gotta go slow. Don't wanna scramble those eggs. Just get them used to the idea that they're about to get warm. I'm gonna go back on the heat. I just want to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom and getting burnt. It's starting to get real thick. It's going to happen real quickly. So that's the cornstarch and the flour thickening up. Okay. Back into this bowl. Nothing's burnt. So good at this. Okay. I'm going to take the butter. And vanilla. I'm gonna stir that around until it melts. The butter's gonna make that pastry cream nice and smooth. You add the vanilla at the end of the pastry cream process because you don't want to cook it. Uh, the more you cook vanilla, it loses its flavor. You can smell it. Okay, now, while the pastry cream is still hot, take some plastic wrap, lay it down. You're gonna go all the way to the surface of the pastry cream to make sure that you don't get any skin. Okay, so now let's put the pastry cream in the fridge. Okay, so my Diplomat cream is chilling in the fridge and it's been about three hours, so let's check on this meringue. Looks pretty good. First things first, gotta get the meringues off the sheet pan. When you're getting the meringues off of the sheet pan, make sure you have a nice small offset spatula so you can very gently just get underneath. These are very fragile. They weigh absolutely nothing. I'm gonna pick them up like this. And with the edge, 
of your offset, just knock loose any little piece that you don't want on there because this has to form a really nice box. All these little guys here, all gone. I'm gonna say this is probably the ugliest one. So this is gonna be the bottom. I'm gonna make a little piping bag, fold, flip. It took me about a month to learn how to do that. And just practice, 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 you'll get it. Now, here I got some royal icing. I'm gonna put just a skosh. Here's a plate. Cut just a little tiny hole, just like that. A little bit of royal icing down. Okay, so what you can do now is do a fun little design on the side of the box. You know anything you want. You can make a snowman, make an igloo, a reindeer, anything you want. I'm gonna do a snowflake. When you're piping something that's really, really small, you wanna use a really small piping bag because you have so much more control. So this is the third side of the box. Uh, I'm gonna do the four side and the top. Now we gotta build the box. So lay down a little bit of royal icing right here. And stick our first side down, caulk it. Okay, so we're gonna ice all the sides and get all these corners so the box doesn't fall apart. Take a little extra time and just pipe some beads along the border. It's gonna look really, really, really nice. So the box is looking really good. Now it's time to fold the Diplomat cream. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this whipped cream and fold it into the pastry cream. That's gonna lighten up the texture and they're gonna take that and fold it back into the rest of the whipped cream. And that's gonna give me a nice, light, airy Diplomat cream. I'm gonna really get under there. So now you're gonna take a nice big spoon. You're gonna fill up your box. Very carefully, you don't wanna mess up all that nice work you just did. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of cinnamon, put that on top just to give it some color. Now I need to get a lid on this box and prop it up with a cinnamon stick. You wanna fill the boxes and serve them immediately. So how's that for an edible work of art? It's precious, but it's perfect to impress. You're gonna to wanna to eat this with a knife and fork to get that meringue crunch with that decadent cream. For my meringue and diplomat cream recipes and more, go to foodnetwork.com slash stuffsweetspot.